Hey, Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. I'm going to read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, known as the love chapter, but we're going to read verses 1 to 3. Verses 1 to 3. This is what the Apostle Paul writes to the church in Corinth. If I speak in tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers, and I understand all the mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. I gain nothing. That is the, the key here. If you don't have love, you gain nothing. God has given his commandment, uh, the greatest commandments, um, his creed that all of his followers follow. It's at the very foundation of the Christian faith, which is to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, as the second. Um, but they intertwine and go together. The word used for that, and the word used here by the Apostle Paul, is the word agape. Agape. And it's a special love. It's the greatest love. It's the love that's come from God. It is a sacrificial love. It is a love that, um, that some say is unconditional. Uh, I would say unconditional in that you're going to give that love uh, regardless of whether someone deserves it or not. Because God has given that his love to us, his agape to us, even though we don't deserve it. And we're supposed to give that love back to him and, and to others. But love is the most important thing. It is at the foundation. And without it, Everything else is pointless and fruitless. If I speak in tongues of men and angels but have not love, that sounds awesome. Speaking in tongues of men and of angels, I mean, you think of the greatest speakers in the world um, and how they can speak. Boy, if I could just be able to do that, yeah, that's great. But if you don't have love, it says it's just a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. It's empty. Um, if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have all faith, that I could even remove mountains. So if you have these prophetic powers, you, you have this knowledge. Um, you know the mysteries. You have, you, you have the power to, of faith that could remove mountains. But you don't have love. You have nothing. If I give away all I have, so this is here's the sacrificial portion. If I give away all I have, I'm doing all the right things. And if I deliver my body to be burned, I'm I am I'm loyal. You know, they're gonna the Romans are gonna burn me uh, and kill me, okay? But you don't have you do those things, you give away everything, including yourself, your body, everything, but you don't have love, you gain nothing. You gain nothing. Agape love isn't a love that's based off of feelings. Um, like, oh, I just I have to feel something towards this person. And then that's, that's what we're used to. We, we have feelings associated with love. Agape love is a love that you give that's not based on affection or feelings. Affection and feelings um, come out of it. Okay, It can create these feelings. Um, but that is not the basis of it. It's a love that is strong and is always there and does the right thing because you have compassion, because you want to do it, because you're thinking about these things. You're being creative of how you're going to love, and then you're actually acting out this love towards others.
So let me encourage you today. Make sure that all these good works, whatever you might be doing, being moral, whatever it might be, you're being kind to others, you're loving God, which you're supposed to do and loving other people, make sure that you are truly loving, that you are truly loving, um, and you're doing it out of love, that that is your motivation for doing these things. So go forth and agape one another, agape God, and make sure that your focus isn't on the task, but on the love that's undergirding everything that you should be doing as a follower of Christ.